Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time here. I teach very simple, straightforward yoga, no standing on your heads or anything like that. I emphasize how much you must listen to your body. But this particular video is for people that haven't ever done yoga or haven't done it for a long time. Doesn't matter what age you are, if you're starting out, you've got to start very gentle. And so this is the one for you. <laughs> So we're going to start in what looks like a simple pose, which is mountain pose, which is just standing up straight. But our posture is very, very important for lots and lots of reasons. But you want to feel yourself properly grounded. So just feel the ground beneath your feet. You can wiggle your toes a little bit, ground the balls of your feet in, that's it. Relax your shoulders, your arms are down by your sides. And there's an imaginary string that's pulling your head up. So you feel your spine lengthen. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, I'm just gonna inhale the arms up nice and slow. In yoga, we breathe in and out through the nose, nice and slowly. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. And just give those shoulders a gentle roll. Just bring them up to your ears, roll them back. And the other way, nice and gently. That's it. Okay, we're gonna do supported side stretch. So we're gonna inhale the arms up. So palms facing each other, stretch your fingers and your hands. And then lower your right hand down and stretch over with your left. Now, if you can only come over a little way, that's fine. The thing to do is make sure that you're not bringing that hand forward because you're twisting the body. So you straighten up and then you lean over to wherever's comfortable for you. But the chest comes round to the front and then your hip, your shoulder, your elbow and your wrist are all in line. So you're getting a lovely stretch up the side ribs. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And obviously when you've had enough, just come back out come back up into mountain. And we're going to inhale up. So again, we're going to take a nice deep breath and then we're going to exhale down the other side. Again, just check that your chest is round to the front, that you're not holding your breath and you're getting that lovely stretch all the way up that side. Keep breathing and keep smiling. Inhale back up. And then bring the arms down, coming back into mountain. So again, just bring the feet together, stand up straight. You kind of lift the kneecaps, engage the thighs. So it's an active pose, even though it just looks like you're standing here, you are actively standing up straight. Okay, we're gonna do some playground swings now. So we're gonna bring the feet to hip width apart and we're just gonna gently swing back and forth. So you're getting that gentle twist and it can be as small as, as that, literally. So listen to your body and do what works for you. I say that in all my videos because nobody knows your body like you do. Okay, so just a few, nice and slowly. And you can have your feet a bit further apart if you feel you want a bit more stable base. Experiment. That's it. The thing to do is to get moving. Okay, and we're going to come back into mountain. Okay, so we're going to take the arms up, palms together. We're going to clasp the hands and we're going to gently bend at the elbows. Now, Bring your elbows as close to your ears. If they're out there a bit, that's fine, but bring them as close to your ears as you can and let those hands come down as far as they can. If you can only get them a little way, that's fine. Gradually, you're just stretching out the upper arms. Stretch across the upper back as well. Inhale up. Turn those palms out and then bring the arms down into goddess arms or cactus arms. So palms are facing forward and you're drawing your shoulder blades together. So you can feel your chest opening. So draw those shoulder blades together, open that chest 
and then we're going to bring the elbows and the palms together. Now again, you might not make, be able to make them meet, but as long as the aim is there, bring them together and then you'll feel the upper back stretch. And then we're going to lower down. So we've just warmed up those shoulders a little bit. And then we're going to warm up the arms. We're going to stretch them out. Imagine you've got a ball in each hand. So you're just getting those arms moving. Let's say getting the blood moving. That's it. Keep smiling. <laughs> okay. And then bring the fingers back together. So flat palms. So if palms are facing down, you're going to stretch the arms all the way up to the shoulder. So you feel that stretch all the way up to here. Imagine someone's pulling them in opposite directions. And then to get a gentle stretch under your arms, you're going to bring the palms up. So you're going to push away so you can feel the stretch all the way along the under, underneath of your arms up to your armpit. And then we're going to press the palms down again and then bring them in so you get the stretch on the top of your arms. So we're having a nice stretch in the arms, we've done the shoulders. And release. And then we're going to bring the palms to face the front and we're going to grab our shoulders. Again, you might only be able to do that, but see how far you can get without strain. Let your head come forward, close your eyes. You'll get a nice upper back and neck stretch here. Take a nice deep breath. And then lift your head and inhale your arms open lovely and wide. And then the other arm on top. Give yourself a nice little cuddle. Head forward, eyes closed. Inhale up. Take those arms back out and down. And now just give them a, another little roll, those shoulders they should be nicely loosened up those arms that's it okay we're going to do a body roll now so bring your feet wider apart again as wide as is comfortable for you just check that your toes are slightly closer than your heels and you've got a nice firm base place your hands on your waist take a nice big breath in through the nose lean forward so you feel a stretch in your buttocks again come forward to a point that's comfortable for you if it's here that's fine. We're going to do a body roll. So if you want to do just a very gentle one like that, that's fine. Or you can come all the way forward and we're going to do three circles one way. As I say, as deep as you like. You can even have a bend in your knees if that's more comfortable. Just see what feels good to you. And then three back the other way. That's it. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. You're doing the best thing you possibly can for your body. And then when you've done three, both sides, just release your hands and just grab your elbows and you just swing from side to side. Again, you can bend your knees if you wish. You just feel a gentle stretch in your inner thighs and your upper back. Let your head and neck relax. That's it, nice and gently. And then release your elbows and slowly inhale back up. Nice and slow to a gentle back bend. And bring the hands down. Okay, we're going to turn that right foot out. We're going to come into warrior two. Most of you will have seen warrior pose in yoga, which is where the back foot faces forward, the right foot's facing straight out, and that knee needs to be over the ankle. Again, you could be here. You don't have to go too deep into it. Check what works for you, but keep that knee over the ankle and press that back little toe into the mat and stretch out those arms. Again, like someone's pulling them in opposite directions. Okay, so nice big breath. And we're just gonna go into reverse warrior. We're just gonna let that back hand slide down. Again, if you can only go to here, that's fine. Gradually, if you do this every day, you'll get further and further down. Bring that chest round to the ceiling. Again, don't bring that arm forward because you're twisting. So get your alignment correct. That's it. And then we're going to inhale back to warrior. Stretch those arms. That's it. Nice, lovely stretch. 
Okay. I'm going to bring that front forearm on top of your thigh and your left arm alongside your ear. And again, that hand tends to want to fall forward, so bring it back, rotate that chest round. You can even use that, that inner thigh and your elbow, your elbow or your inner, inner forearm to twist round so that, again, you're bringing that chest round to the front and you're reaching forward and you're not holding your breath. Don't hold your breath. That's most important. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. Inhale back. Nice and slow. And we're going to straighten that front leg. And we're going to go into triangle. And again, you're going to let that front hand slide down. Now you might only get to here. Don't press down on that knee. Just gently bring that hand down. So don't push. Just let it slide down. You're using this inner thigh. You're strengthening it. Again, don't, don't force it, just come down to a point that's comfortable for you. But you will get a lovely inner thigh stretch. Your chest is open and you're getting a stretch up the side as well. And we're going to slowly inhale back. Stretch the arms. And then we're going to just bring that knee back over the ankle. Get rid of any tension that might have appeared in that front knee. Back into warrior two and then lower the hands down gently. Bring that foot to face the front, turn the left foot out. Bring the left knee over the ankle, press the right little toe into the mat so that that foot's not lifting. So push it down and stretch out those arms. That's it. Okay, nice big breath. Through the nose, exhale into reverse warrior. So again, letting that back hand slide down to wherever is comfortable for you. You'll get a stretch up the front of that, that thigh, the back of the thigh of the back leg. And your top hand is reaching up, your chest is facing up. But as I say, if you're only here or here, give yourself time. Don't force yourself into anything that doesn't feel right for your body. Inhale back. Stretch those arms and then place that front forearm on top of your thigh, your other arm alongside your ear and again your chest round to the front and again if you're here or here that's fine, give yourself time. We want you to come back and do it every day so don't force yourself, just do it really really gentle and then you'll see yourself get better and better every day you do it. Inhale back to warrior two. Stretch those arms, that's it. And then we're gonna straighten that front leg again, nice and slow. And then into triangle, let that front hand again come down. It might only be here, it might be here. Just give it time. Just check that your hand's not coming forward, correct it. It's better that you're up here than you're down here and your hand's forward, okay? so. That's it, you feel that really lovely stretch in the inner thigh. Don't forget to keep breathing. Hold the pose, not the breath. Inhale, up. And then back into warrior. So look at that front hand and that middle finger. Bring that knee back over the ankle. Again, getting rid of any tension. And then slowly bring those feet back to the front and just slowly walk them back together. And we're just going to come back into mountain. Again, relax the shoulders, arms down by your sides. Lift your head. Take a few nice deep breaths. Close your eyes. Feel the exercises that you've done. Okay, open your eyes and we're going to do some, some squats. So bring the feet out a bit wider. So bringing those heels forward. And again, this is, you might only be able to get your feet that far apart, whatever. And just gentle bouncing. So we're just getting those knees moving. We're warming up the inner thighs. That's it, just gentle bounces. So if your knees hurt, just loosen, loosen it. Just make it less severe. Just do that gentle, very, very gentle. The thing is, it's like anything. <laughs> it's, not a, it's an awful thing to say, but it's like a, like a rusty screw. If it hasn't been used, it's going to be very, very... So just with a little bit of gentle persuasion, your flexibility will come back, I promise. So nice. 
gentle bounces and then you're going to come down as low as is comfortable for you and then we're going to bring the palms together if that's too strong but feel free to keep your hands on your thighs or your waist or if you want to bring your hands above your head bring those elbows back and you're opening up that chest as well keep breathing the inner thighs are starting to feel very warm come out whenever you've had enough rest whenever you feel you need to and then we're going to slowly straighten up we're going to bring those legs back together we're just going to bring the feet back to hip hip width apart we're going to do free the spirit so i say your feet are hip width apart we're going to inhale the arms up we're going to lean the head back and bring the arms down in a big circle so you're stretching out your neck and your throat you're going to bring your palms together at your chest and then you're going to let your head roll forward ever so slowly and ever so gently. So you're going to get rid of any tension in the neck. I'm going to do that one more time. Nice big breath. And lean back. And bring those palms together. And then very gently roll that head forward. And release. And now we're going to go into ragdoll. So we're going to inhale the arms up. And then we're going to gently come forward. And as we come down, we're going to grab the elbows and we're just going to hang forward. Again, it might be just here for you or you come all the way down. Just let your head relax. Your chest comes down towards the thighs or on them, if you feel. Just gentle bend in the legs. And slowly stand up. Inhale as you come up. Take the hands up above the head to a gentle back bend. And bring them down. Okay, the final stretch for today is palm tree. So we're going to inhale the hands up again. And the palms are facing up. And we're going to come up on the toes. So we're going to stretch out the feet and ankles, the hands, the wrists. Now, if you keep coming down, you can't stay up there, that's fine. You're still giving those feet a really nice workout. If you can balance up there, do so. If not, just go down and up as much as you like. But feel yourself grounded through the balls of your feet and you're stretching up through the palms of your hands. You're having a really good stretch. That's it, then lower down and release your hands. And as you bring them down, wiggle your fingers. You're keeping those joints nicely loosened up, lubricated, and do some wrist circles. Keep those hands nice and healthy. And then we're gonna come back to finish in mountain pose. So these have been all standing, so if you can't get down onto the mat, this is a brilliant place to start. You can do this every day until you feel ready to move on. You could also do these in a chair with all the, all the upper arm exercises. You can get yourself a chair. So I'm going to inhale those arms up. Ready? Exhale them down. So bring the arms down to your sides. We're going to come into mountain to finish up. Feet together, shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes, remember that, you're engaging your thighs, your kneecaps are lifted, your arms are down by your side, your shoulders are relaxed, your head is lifted, your spine is long, you're drawing your tailbone down. And your posture is amazing. And open your eyes. And that's it for today. So, I hope you enjoyed that, as I said at the beginning, if you are a complete beginner, this is the best place to start because there's none of that getting down on the floor. And so give yourself time. Please don't expect too much from yourself and be hard on yourself because we all do it, but it's, it's, it's not nice. It's, you're being unkind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And if you got value from this video, please don't forget to pop a comment in the box below because it's always nice if you can share your experience and, and let others see if we can help everybody to get themselves moving. That's my aim. I, I know myself how good I feel. So I hope you do too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, try and do it every day. Take care. Bye.